Those of us with a soft spot for dogs know that some breeds are used in animal testing labs. Tomorrow there's an event where you can meet some of those lucky survivors and their families at Burr's Beers in Denver. Joining us now is John Raymer, Executive Director at Kindness Ranch. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Who did you bring with you? This is Uno. Um, in 2022, Uno was the very first of 4,000 dogs released from a breeding facility in Cumberland, Virginia that was shut down. He was bred specifically for research and as luck would have it, Kindness Ranch happened to be available to assist the Humane Society of the United States in relocating 4,000 dogs. Wow. And with him being the very first, he barked all the way home and <laughs> I just couldn't say no. So we named him Uno and you can so see by his patches yes. that he's been traveling around and helping raise awareness about animals used in research and the proof that you can give them a happily ever after when they're done. I love that. And we see it right here on his vest, one of 4,000. Tell me about why this event is so important, not only for dogs, but maybe those also looking to adopt. Well, we of course want to raise awareness about our adoption program. There's all kinds of foster-based programs throughout the state and throughout the country that are able to place former research animals. Kindness Ranch is unique in the fact that we're the largest and most successful actual sanctuary for these animals. So tomorrow's event, we're gonna have about 50 adopters and all of their beagles available for people to come and meet, have good beer, good food, and just network and just raise a little bit of awareness about what we do and the challenges faced with adopting a former research animal. Yeah, he's gotten comfortable here on the set. <laughs> yes. I love that. Now you mentioned beagles. Tell me a little bit about the importance or why beagles are used with animal testing. Beagles are the most popular dog used in animal testing because of their size, their disposition, their mm -hmm. trusting nature. Everything that makes them a good pet also makes them a good research subject. So what we do is we negotiate with the research facilities to release the animals that can be released after research and then our dedicated team, we have a dedicated dog caretaker system where our caretakers live with the dogs that they care for, get them used to the trappings of home, all of the sounds that come with it because they're three to five years old when they get out and they've never seen TV before or listened to the radio right. or been outside, used steps. So we get them acclimated to home life and we have a phenomenal placement rate in the last five years. We've only had six dogs returned that didn't work out, but they went on to find their forever homes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, John, thank you so much for joining us. And Uno, I know you're tired, but thank you for your time. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you can watch all of our interviews on our website. That's cbscolorado.com. All right, Kennedy, thank you. Still